Hi everyone and welcome to a Proverbs home. I am so happy that you stopped by to listen to this podcast. This is going to be a very interesting podcast. This podcast is going to be talking about things that have gone to the wayside. Have you ever gone into your garage, maybe your closet, and look through boxes or maybe a purse or something and find money in that purse? Like, oh, I forgot I have $5. I forgot I had $3. Or you find a bunch of change and it's just like, it's a party time, right? <laughs> it's time to put that money up and use it for things that you need in your home. Well, today I'm going to be talking about something that we've probably put on the back burner. We probably, in our nation, in our culture, have put it on the wayside. Has said this is not as important anymore when it actually is very valuable. I remember one time I was looking through my purses and it was an old purse that I had that I hadn't gone through in a long time. And I found $25 in the purse. And let me tell you, it was a time that I needed it and I was so excited. And I realized I was going to get rid of the purse, not realizing there was something valuable in my purse. There's a famous saying that says, you do you, girl. You do you, whatever makes you happy. Don't be worrying about what anybody thinks. Do you. However, that's contrary to what God tells us to be like. God tells us to do. Do I believe there's a time that we need to take care of ourselves? Of course. There is that time that we need to get away and be alone with God first with our devotions and by ourselves. Maybe there's a time you need to go on ahead and tell the family, you know, or get a babysitter, somebody that you really trust. Say, can you please stay with the kids or have your husband babysit and go out and take an hour or whatever it is you need to take. Go get a pedicure or go take time for yourself. But those are things that we should do. However, we've gotten in our culture to the point of an exaggeration where we no longer feel like we need to take care of ourselves. We need to get dolled up. And anybody that does take care of themselves, we judge them and say, well, who do they think they are? They're not being themselves. Do you know you could be yourself and still get dolled up and look nice? As a content creator, we are judged very harshly in our appearance. However, there are days that I wear makeup, there are days that I wear a nice dress or I wear nice clothes and that makes me feel good about myself. It's something I've always done, something that my mom taught my sister and I to take care of yourself. And we have gotten to the point in this world that if you don't, if you take care of yourself and you're a woman and you feel good about yourself and you wear a nice dress or you wear makeup or you look pretty or you look nice, then you're showing off. That is a lie, my friend. That is a lie. Look at the person's heart. Look at who they are. That's what's important. Just because I don't wear makeup in a video or my hair is not really perfect does not make me better than someone that looks good or takes care of themselves. There's two extremes. There's the extreme that we think that somebody that's good looking is perfect, they could do no wrong. And then there's the extreme that we think that somebody that doesn't wear makeup, and if you hear that noise in the background, that is Elijah. He is trying to get in the closet because the Colligan man is coming and the Colligan man is putting in a new water softener, water conditioner, because the one that we have is from back in the 80s. It is a very old one. They don't even sell it anymore. So... He's trying to get in the closet. He wants to play in there, but I can't let him in there right now. So the closet is closed. And he's looking at me like, can you please open up the closet so I could go in and play? But we're not going to do that right now. So if you hear that noise, that's him on the closet door. Yes. No. Sorry. You can't do that right now. <laughs> so there's those two extremes. There's the extreme that if somebody doesn't wear makeup, they're being themselves. Well, who says that? Because God says... He alone knows the heart. I'm trying to get to a point with this, and you'll get that point here in a minute. We think now in this generation, if a woman takes care of herself, 
then she's showing off. She's not being herself. She's not doing her. Well, I disagree with that. I think it's the heart. I think it goes to the heart of the matter. When I dress up in a video or I have makeup on, usually I'm dressed like that for the whole day because I've been somewhere, I'm doing something, or that's just my personality. Sometimes you won't see me with makeup. My hair would be a mess or I might not be the most, because I have a video to get in there. I have to haul something that has been sitting in my craft room and I've been busy, so busy throughout the day. I don't have time to really have those extra frills or, you know, do my hair, but I'm still being myself, whether... I don't have makeup on or I do have makeup on. If you're a rotten person in heart, it doesn't matter how much makeup we put on, right? If we're rotten at the heart and we're mean and we're fault finding and we're, we're rude, it doesn't matter if we appear before a camera because God knows who we are and he sees way deep to the heart where others cannot see. God sees. So what you see in camera when I'm making a video, it is who I am. I'm not always perfect, nor am I always going to say everything perfect, the right words all the time. There's times I may slip up, make a mistake, but I am being who I am and I will be who I am. That's what's important. Now, yes, we share our life with people. Even this, this counts, not just for people, content creators, this counts for anybody. This counts for anybody, anybody that's listening who we are shows through. No camera, no makeup can filter that. Because God sees straight to the heart. But what's gone by the wayside is, in order to be a nice woman and a good woman, you can't take care of yourself, you can't look good, you can't wear makeup, you can't do any of that because then you're not a good woman. Well, I disagree with that. I disagree with that 100%. You know, there, there was a time... That my mom, when we were kids, wanted us to look our best. There were people coming over. You, I'm sure that you understand this. When there were people coming over, you wore your best. Even if it was jeans and a nice t-shirt, you still try to wear your best. When we have family members coming over, when my mom was cooking, whatever my mom was doing, we tried to wear our best. It, it doesn't mean she made us wear our Sunday best. But we wore our best when people were coming over. If anybody was coming over to have coffee with my mom, I remember my mom making sure the coffee cups were clean, making sure the house was cleaned, making sure it was swept and the dishes were out of the sink. I remember those days. Why has that stuff gone to the wayside? Why has that stuff been removed? Why don't we visit anymore? I remember the times we used to visit. Those things were valuable. I remember my mom sometimes. Hi, mom. If you're listening, I love you. I remember sometimes my mom saying, okay, get dressed. We're going to so-and-so's house. And my mom would go for like a visit. And I remember sitting on the couch because one thing my mom taught us, you don't go into rooms uninvited. And that was what my mom always taught us. So when we went to a friend's house and we sat on the couch I remember my mom having a discussion whether it was an older elderly lady from church or somebody my mom knew. And this is when we lived in the city and we would sit on the couch and I remember my mom talking and having coffee and they looked their best, whatever they had. We weren't really rich. We didn't have a lot of money to go buy fancy clothes and name brand clothes. But whatever we had, we make sure it was clean when we wore it. And those things have gone to the wayside, visiting others at their home as women, going to a friend's house. Now, everybody's got a call. And yes, that's important to call. I like when people call before they come over just to make sure they're not going out their way and I'm not home. So I, I do like when they call. But what happens to calling someone, leaving a calling card saying I came by? You know, those leaving a calling card, they used to do that years and years ago. And I think that's a great thing that should kind of come back. We can still bring it back. You know, when you go to someone's house and you leave a calling card at their door to let them know you were there. Or calling someone and say, I'm coming over. And I want to come over and I want to sit with you and let's have coffee and let's chat. We have lost that. It's been everybody for themselves. Do you, girl? Do you, girl? You don't need anybody else. Do what you want to do. And we've gotten to the point 
that yes, we're doing us, but what happens to the loved ones? What happens to fellowship? What happens to visiting? What happens to having real friends that want to come over and sit with you, want to have coffee with you, want to go have a sandwich with you and just sit and chat and get that healing and that constantly we need for each other as friends. Why as women are we so judgmental of one another and we see each other and we judge each other and we say, oh, look at her. Who does she think she is? I always say I'm a woman of God. I'm a child of God. I'm his daughter. I'm a child of the king. And if I'm a child of a king, the king of kings, I should feel my best. There will be days I will feel sick. There will be days I won't feel good. I don't want to get dressed up. I'm in my shorts. I'm in my sweatpants. I am comfy at home. I love those days too. Those days are important too. But when I go out, I try to feel and look my best. I try to make you, who remembers that saying that your mom used to say, make sure you have on clean underwear. You remember that? Because if anything ever happens, your underwear needs to be clean. I remember my mom saying that to us, but it's true. It's true. Those things should not go to the wayside. Visiting our friends and having friends outside of the home, the right kind of friends, of course, because I'd rather have one or two really good friends than have a bunch of friends that aren't really my friends. But what happened to those days that have gone to the wayside? The days of having friends that you love and you care about. The days of taking care of your home and being that homemaker God's called you to be. Now it's all about you do you and forget everybody else. But that is not in the scripture. And as women of God, we should not be using that word. I know some people mean it in a different way. Saying, you know, do what's best for you and your family. That's okay. But when it gets to the point when it's you do you, whatever makes you feel good. As long as you're happy, that is not scriptural. We have to be careful with the words that we speak into other people's lives. Because one thing God wants us to do, he wants us to grow. He wants us to grow. He wants us to turn to him. He wants us to hope in him. And those are the valuable things we cannot let go to the wayside. It's like finding that money in that purse that's been in there for a long time and you didn't even know it was there. It's the same thing with the gift of being a woman. That beauty you have inside of you. Who says you, ha you can't take care of that? Who says? I've noticed some commercials that have been on TV or on YouTube mostly, I'll say. On the computer because we don't have cable. And it's like, what? That's what they're saying women are? That's what we got to be? I know what God says I need to be. That's why my channel is called Proverbs 31, Woman. And if you read about it, if you're not a Christian and you're listening to this, read about the Proverbs. Just do that one thing. Look it up on the computer. Read the Proverbs 31, Woman and see who she is. She is an amazing woman. She is an amazing woman. She is a woman that rises up early in the morning and takes care of her family. She is a woman that goes out in the field and purchases land. That is a real estate person. She is a woman that dresses her family in the best. They have the best linens and she feeds them the best food that she has. That doesn't mean you have to go out and buy expensive food and you have to go out and buy expensive neighboring clothes and go to home, home goods all the time, even though that's a beautiful store and buy expensive things to decorate your house every month for every holiday. That's not what God is saying. He's saying, use what you have, what I've given you to bless your family and in return, you're blessed too, because guess what? When that Proverbs 30 woman go, 31 woman goes out there and she's out there buying those linens, I'm sure she's dressed in her best. I'm sure her maidens and her children look their best. You can look your best in a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and nice brush chair and look your best and feel your best when you walk out of your home 
We see a lot of the advertisements from the 50s, right? And we see a lot of the advertisements from the 40s in those times. If you look at the women, they're dressed in their nice dresses, their heels, they're vacuuming the, cu- the floor in heels and a dress and pearls. We all know that's not reality. When I'm vacuuming, I don't want heels on. But I do tell you this one thing I admire. They took pride in the way they look. They took care of themselves. And I think that's gone by the wayside. We need to still take care of ourselves and humbly do it, but feel good about our homes, enjoy our homes, enjoy the things that God's given us. I made a video not so long ago and I had the most fun making the video. I had so much fun. I felt like I was honestly, like I was a child again, plain pretend. And I was having a great time making this video. It was just so much fun. But if you really think about it in the reality of life, we need to enjoy it. We need to enjoy our homes and the things that we have. We are the managers of our home. You being somebody in your home is not a waste of time. You being a woman of your home and taking care of your home and beautifying it and making it so much fun for your children and organizing it and doing those things, you are not wasting your time. You are being a blessing to others. And these are the things that have gone to the wayside in this world is do you, you don't need your family. You don't need your children just do whatever you want to do and as long as you're happy who cares and that is a way to divide the family our children are important our husbands are important and those that are single women women that live by themselves guess what you can enjoy your home it is still your home and you can make that place a haven that God is there with you he is your husband and he takes care of you I am very passionate about this podcast Because I've seen it. I've seen the things that are going on in this world. I've seen the hard, you know, where we're at in this world. What they're telling us as women we can be and we cannot be. Who we are and who we are not. Well, I as a woman am created by my creator. Fearfully and wonderfully made since the time I was in my mother's womb. It doesn't matter who you are. Maybe you feel like you're not, you know, according to the world's beauty, what they consider beautiful. We all know there's beautiful people out there. We all know that, but I guarantee you those people, and I'm talking about physically beautiful, they have their problems too. Thank God for what you have. Don't let it go to the wayside or bury it in the ground. Because of what the world's telling you as a woman you need to be. It's not about doing us. It is about giving to others and showing the love of Christ to others and being kind to others and loving others no matter where they come from. We are to love others. I've never seen a happy, selfish person that doesn't give, that never does anything for anyone, takes, takes, takes. They're never happy because love is not about taking, taking, taking. Love is about giving. There's a time to receive and be happy when people want to bless you. But there's a time to give to others also. And I just take, 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 take and make it all about us. There's a time to give. It's important that you know who you are through Christ. I'm looking right now. I'm actually looking at my shelf with all my pretty fall stuff. I actually made a video the other day of that. If you want to watch it. And it's just a very simple, simple shelf. And I got some cute things on it. But that brings me joy. It's my, it's my home. My home is comfortable. My home is cozy. Um, this is where we reside. This is where we live. This is where we enjoy. This is where we have our cup of coffee, where we read the newspaper, where we write, whatever it is we do. It is our home. Don't let that go to the wayside. Your home is valuable. Wherever you live. Sometimes we have our dream home that we want. Or we wish we lived here or there. But you know, but wherever we live is what's important. 
wherever you live. You can live in an apartment and still make it your cozy home that you love to come home to every day. That's what makes our home. When you make that meal, don't look at it grudgingly like, oh, I got to cook again. Even though sometimes we don't always want to cook, right? We want to take a break and that's okay. Taking a break, going out to eat or, you know, or taking a break and having your family help you. That's great too. But every time you make a meal, whether it's for your children, for your husband, for a neighbor, for a friend, you are being a blessing to them. You are being a blessing to someone. Even if you feel they don't deserve that meal, you are still blessing someone. And if you do something kind for someone that has hurt you, do something kind for that person. It is a great feeling inside and it releases us from all hurt and bitterness. That's a whole other video. I'm not going to get into that topic right now. However, it's not about us just doing us. You do you, girl. Don't worry about nobody else. You want to leave your man for something better looking? Do you. What makes you happy? Well, I guarantee you, if you leave your man for something better looking, you will not be happy. With that comes pain. With that comes hurt. But I guarantee you, if you trust God and you say, God, show me to be the best woman you want me to be with what I have. Remember the woman that went and washed the feet of Jesus right before his burial. She had that expensive bottle of perfume. And the disciples started complaining and say, how can you waste that expensive perfume when you can sell it and get money? Because back then the perfume was very, very expensive to have perfume. It's not like us now. We can get perfume for $5. We can get perfume for very inexpensive body sprays, all kinds of things. Back then, perfume was very valuable, but she gave it all. She poured it all on Jesus' feet. She cleaned his feet. She gave it all. And, P and those disciples were looking at her saying, you do you, girl. You go take that perfume and you sell it and make some money for yourself and buy yourself a nice handbag. <laughs> well, they actually didn't say that, but that's basically what they were doing. Well, I don't say you do you. I say you do God's will. You be the woman God wants you to be. You enjoy your home. You love the home God's given you and thank him for it. Every time you look at the things you have, your heart's not to be in those things. Like they're the only things you'll ever have. But when you look around, say, Lord, thank you that you've given me a home. Thank you that you have blessed me with what I have. Bless my, my neighbor, bless my enemies, those who curse me, those who talk about me, Lord, save them. Do your will in their life. And Lord, you make me the woman you call me to be and show me the value of who you are and what I have. God bless you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. I hope you enjoy this podcast and that you got something out of it that touched your heart and remember your value before God. You are valuable. You have value. No, it's not our clothes and our makeup and the things we have that give us value. It is God, but he also blesses us with things so we can take care of ourselves. Don't ever feel bad about looking nice or feeling good about who God created you to be. God bless you. I love you all. Kisses and hugs. Thank you for being here for this podcast. You do you, girl. Remember. Remember who you are and the value of your life. And thank you for joining me today at a Proverbs home. May God bless you. And we'll meet each other again in our next podcast. <music>